Tonight's Healthier Me with spring underway, seasonal allergies are soon to make a return. Valley News Team's Joseph Ojo is here now to share the things you can do in and around your home to prevent allergies from invading your space. Joseph? Though you may still be wearing a winter jacket and there is still snow on the ground, doctors say what you do now may help you down the road. Usually when we are experiencing allergy season, it'll be uh, prevalent when we see uh, leaves starting to bud out in the trees. Allergy expert Chris Cleveland says now is the time to start bracing for allergy season. And Cleveland's advice to allergy sufferers is to start over-the-counter medication before you even see the pollen actually build up. And folks will want to start their allergy medications two to three weeks prior to that. One of the most common options to ward off the worst symptoms of seasonal allergies include oral antihistamines like Zyrtec, Claritin, and Allegra. Cleveland also recommends nasal sprays and eye drops too, which can be found anywhere at what he says are reasonable prices. There are some people who are very severely affected and even need to miss work or school because they have such bad symptoms. And so they definitely need to be on their medications fairly early to try head that off. There are things to consider as well. Uh, trying to stay out of the high pollen uh, times of the day, which is early morning time and uh, uh, late evening or twilight hours. These times are when pollens are released the most. So if you happen to be doing yard work at these times, Cleveland recommends showering and washing clothes frequently to get out all the pollen you may be bringing inside your home. Keeping the house closed up and using your filtered HVAC systems and having good uh, HEPA or HEPA filters in the uh, HVAC system is a good idea as well. While many of us may love our pets, during allergy season they tend to bring lots of pollen into homes. It is important that you clean your pets on a regular basis before they sleep in the same room as you. In the studio tonight, Joseph Ojo, Valley News Live. Thanks, Joseph. A fundraiser was